statement by the Council of Governors on the recommendations of the Presidential Working Party on Education Reforms Report. Uh, the Council of Governors, LICO, Constitutional Affairs and Intergovernmental Relations, and the Education Committee have just concluded a consultative meeting to discuss the implications of the recommendations of the Presidential Working Party on Education Reforms. The Council recognizes the importance of education as a key driver of socio-economic development and welcome efforts aimed at improving, uh, at improving the education sector in the country. It is important, it is important to note, it is important to note that county governments have made tremendous efforts towards transforming the devolved education functions assigned to them by the Constitution. Currently, county governments are managing approximately 30,400 pre primary schools and they have employed over 54,000 pre primary teachers. And over 2.3 million children are assessing pre primary education across the counties. Further, county governments cumulat cumulatively allocate over 8 billion every year towards education. This was unheard of before devolution, where pre primary education was mainly supported by the communities. Since the function was devolved before costing, it is important since the function was devolved before costing. It is important to note that counties have achieved all this with no specific financial resources having been devolved to support the pre primary education function. While we appreciate the efforts made by the presidential working party towards the transformation of the education sector, the Council of Governors urges that further consultations must be undertaken to ensure that the perspectives and concerns of county governments are adequately considered in the realization of the recommendations. To this end, the recommendations of the presidential working party are unacceptable to the council. They heavily claw back on devolution. This includes, number one, the establishment of a comprehensive school system where all levels of learning are headed by one head of institution without regard to delineated functions in the Constitution. We note that there is no accountability framework provided for the proposed head of institutions to the counties regarding the management of pre-primary school. Number two, the report also recommends that the Ministry of Education, Teacher Service Commission, and COG to develop an intergovernmental agreement for hiring and remuneration of pre primary teachers. Further, the report recommends the amendment to the Basic Education Act to have the county commissioner as the county yeah. education board yeah. chair of the education board. This is a clear reverse care to the case of devolution, noting that ECDE is a fully devolved function. And our position is that by having the county commissioner, who is not an executive elected by anyone, chairing that, uh, the, the education council is unacceptable to the council. Uh, number four, hiring of pre primary teachers is a preserve of the county, and I just want to clarify on item number three, that even within the proposed county education board, uh, COG is is not represented or distantly removed from the management of that particular board and seems to offer a lot of powers to the uh, to the county commissioner as regard to the county governors elected to run those particular devolved units. Hiring of pre primary teachers is a preserve of the county governments as reiterated in the judgment in the High Court ruling in the case of NAT versus the Attorney General and four others. 2016, that clarifies the powers of the county governments in hiring pre-primary teachers. Number five, framework for the facilitation of development partners who support education in the country. The framework should allow the Ministry of Education to coordinate the partners supporting the national education function while the COG
to coordinate partners supporting the default education function, among us others. We have collectively agreed to the following. Number one, the Council of Governors categorically does not agree and rejects the recommendations in entirety to the extent that they undermine the basic structure and framework of the Constitution. Number two, the Council of Governors hereby withdraws its participation, its participation from any process that seeks to legislate the recommendations contained in the report. This includes the proposed meeting called by Inter-Governmental Relationship Technical Committee scheduled for 16 January 2023. Number three, county governments will continue to manage both the institutions and human resources for the constitutionally assigned functions in education. Number four, a convening of any divorce sector forum or a convening, a convening of any divorce sector forum will strictly be done between the two levels of government and not non-entities. Lastly, the committee strongly protests against all the recent attempts to claw back on devolution in, edu in the education sector and other seen attempts across the four sectors. In conclusion, the Council of Governors reiterates its commitment to enhance the quality of education and training in our country. Sign His Excellency Dr. Eric Mutai, Chair, Council of Governors, Education Committee. Thank you so much. Venue that you are in the boardroom, we were able to present our contributions to the Presidential Working Party. However, none of those recommendations were captured in the report. Number two, as to the question of too late, this is, these are recommendations. They are not lost in itself. It's not been taken to Parliament for approval. Of course, it's been handed over to the President. And we expect, in fact, our expectation is that a larger education framework for shared stakeholders would actually be even be called to continue weighing and putting in input to the same. So we are not late. And uh, we still make our position be known that we provided our suggestions, we provided our contributions, and none of them was captured by the team. And as journalists, I want to request all of you to do a little bit of uh, soul searching, plus also walk back in history. The, Ken the national government, the GOK, and the Ministry of Education has never funded a single event, a single function in ECD. Everything you see in ECD today, infrastructure that has been done, teachers that have been written, I mean, have been required, uh, uh, hired, any, any papers that have been written, any uh, learning materials that have been provided, yeah, have been provided service. by the Council of Governors, inclusive of a scheme of service for teachers that has been collaboratively done with SRC. So in other words, what we are saying is this, the national government, GOK, has never to taken any, 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 any step towards funding ECD function. Even what was devolved did not exist. And uh, further to that, it is important to say that the, we as a, as a country and as the COG have made tremendous progress. Mm. What you see in ECD today is what has been done.